What's the plant with the pods? This one here. This one here with the pods? Good yeah. question. Um, this old tree is called a Ngaia tree and he lives in red sand, white sand, one mm -hmm. of the few. And most of all of our trees, we call them Yalgari. And they like our old friends because they give us food, medicine, water, oxygen, obviously, shelter. Um, this folly is one of the few that grows in red sand, white sand, and he'll give us this fruit. And inside there, you can find a sweet green pea and you can eat that. Mm. Now, you can't just pick that off the tree and try and eat it, open it, because mm. there's poison sap coming off that seed pot. And if you get that sap on your lip or anywhere, it'll burn your mouth, can even blind you. Wow. So we pick these, like our, all of our acacias, when there's outside going a bit brown, that's telling us that that fruit inside is ready to pick. So we pick that off and we make a small fire and then we can lay these on the ashes and steam that food inside the seed pot. After a couple of minutes, you open him up. Inside you'll find a white outer casing, but inside that you'll find a green fruit. You can eat that. When the seed dies, you'll see the seeds die and they go brown, um, like this, like that fella. And he's no good. Mm -hmm. He's no good to use, that fella. Okay. All right? When you say you go blind with the sap, mm. is that after you put it on your lip or is you physically it get it in, in your, your eye? eye? Right, yeah. OK. I didn't yeah. know if it travelled at all. Mm. Um, do you still get gum trees, or do you get gum trees out here? Like, not gum gum trees, but the bub the ones that you can chew the sap? Yeah, bimba. Is that it's what called it's called? It's called bimba, yeah. You get it, we get those further that way, oh, okay. but we also get them from these acacias. Because we used to get them down in Northampton, but you That's can't right. find them much anymore. Yeah, white gums along the thing there. Mm. Yeah. See this here? This here is a soap bush. Oh, that's right, the one okay. you, rub you it, crush yeah. that and mix it with water, and yeah. then lathers into a soap. Right. That fella there grows next to this one, so they grow in white sand and red sand. So if you want to wash that poison off, you use this here. Nature again. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like that. So they all here for special reason. reason. Now all these trees, we tell people, don't just look at these trees. Look inside these trees. All right. You'll find mistletoe and bush bananas that grow up there in the red sand. Since 1991, this has been a World Heritage Area. And a lot of these scientists, they come in, they say, oh, powerful old place is Gouda da Gouda. Well, they don't say Gouda da Gouda. Uh, this is a biodiversity hotspot because everything happening here, salt water, desert spirit together, food from up there north, food from down south, all meeting here. We know this is a powerful place because we feel it every day. Feel it, it's a very powerful place. And like I say, you know, we, we've been here for a long time, so certainly we have enough time to feel the country. Thank you.